good. Is my shirt back? Oh my gosh. My shirt is inside out and backwards. That is the kind of morning we're having today. And I will explain to you why. You hungry? Today, we are leaving for Pelican Hill. We're doing like a little staycation for my dad's birthday. It has been a doozy of a day. So Tyler got sick. He's not like super sick, but with a baby, I'm like, we are not taking any risks, especially because we have New York next week too. He started feeling sick Monday. So he, I have him quarantined in the guest room. So he slept all day yesterday and then he's feeling already a lot better today, but still I'm like, we're, you're resting. Um, but yeah, so of course the two nights that I don't have Tyler to help, he, I don't know if he's going through like a huge growth spurt. Did you just fart? That was, that was very loud. Um, I don't know if he's going through a growth spurt or if it's teething, but he's been sleeping through the night from 8.30 to like five in the morning, he'll want to come lay in bed with us and then we'll have him in our bedroom like five to seven. But yesterday, oh my gosh, he woke up, I, I put him down at 7.30, he woke up at 8.30, then 9.45, and then he woke up at two and then 3.30 and then 4.45 and then 5.45 and then seven. <laughs> So luckily he only, he was really, really hungry um, the last two times he woke up. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it has to be teething and growth spurt though, because I looked at him this morning when he was laying in bed with me and I was like, you are a string bean. Like you are long. I don't know. It literally just like happened. So, so yeah, so I've been getting all of his stuff packed up, taking care of him, doing, you know, being maid and chef for Tyler because I'm not literally like not letting him come out. He came out a little bit last night to just to get water and stuff because Ace was already in bed. But, um, so I've been like bringing everything to his room, taking care of him, packing up all his stuff. I probably have to pack Tyler's stuff. I have to pack my stuff and then I have to pack the car. So I was like, this is the life of a single mom. And I, the more, the more I become like a mom, or not become a mom, but the more I rack up days as being a mother, and when like if Tyler's not around and it's just me, I'm like, how do moms, single moms of like multiple kids do it? Literally, you guys are superheroes. It's I don't even know. Yeah, so we are going back to Pelican Hill. We went in December, I believe, and I talked about how we booked it for so cheap. So in December, we stayed at a two bedroom villa for $550 a night, which is insane because they're usually like 3,500 without tax per night. And then the one we're staying at, um, it's a three bedroom and then it's like on the side of the golf course. When we went to Pelly last time, I didn't even know this. So there's like technically three different properties. You have the main property where the hotel is, and then you have um, the villas, which is like right to the side of it. It's on the same side. It's still like golf course and uh, water views. And then across the street, you have another set of villa areas where there's no, at least we didn't because we were on the second floor. There wasn't any beach view, which we were kind of bummed out about, but I didn't know that there were so many properties. So this time we are staying on the golf side, which I'm really excited about. And then today is Wednesday. So tomorrow I booked a tea time for my dad and Tyler. Other than that, we like don't really have any other plans. It's pretty much just like a chill fam staycation. And I'm just glad that we have good weather today and in the next couple days that we're gonna be there because last time we came, it was half raining and I was like, Please, Lord, I just want some sunny, sunny days with some water beach views. That's not amazing. Isn't this so amazing? Yeah, are you tired? Also, I know ever since Tyler made his like big YouTube announcement, it's been seeming that he was going to take over and he was supposed to take over this vlog, but he's sick. So I'm going to do it and then he can do the New York trip. It is technically like his trip. I'm just tagging along, which is kind of weird to say because I feel like 
the last what four years that we've been traveling five years it's always like my work trip and Tyler comes along so I'm like it's just gonna be fun to not have to think about an agenda and like meetings and I have to do this and this and this and it's great so I know it's not the content you guys signed up for okay I'm just kidding but yeah we improv things like this happen Just finished Philip's birthday round. Yes. How'd you feel? 75. <laughs> strong. Thank the Lord. Yeah, amen. <laughs> 75 and strong. Shot a 75 on Pelican Hill North Course, I wish. But it was fun. Alright guys, we love okay. y'all. <laughs> Previous two 
few days were just sitting in bed and like sucking in this cold. And on top of it, Ace is having sleep regression. So I'm not feeling the best. And then Ace is barely sleeping. So it's just a big old party. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> we are gonna go get some food. I think and we then... are, there's um, a new Parakeet Cafe that opened up in Crystal Cove. I mean, not recently, maybe like, I don't know. What's the, I think the Greek word for Holy Spirit? I think Holy Spirit is Paraclete, isn't it? Isn't it Paraclete? Uh, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. I'm most positive. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go to Parakeet Cafe. It's like down the street next to Hobbies, and then we'll go over to Rachel saying a margarita. Uh, yeah, because I gotta get a haircut. Get your haircut down there. So, alright. Well, that's the plan for today. Just chill. Hopefully, recover from this. Hopefully my voice recovers from this pretty soon. I don't ever really get sick. So when I do, it knocks me down. But I get back up strong. Come on, somebody. All right. Bye. Macho, macho man. Hi. Hey. Are you with a giggle boy? Are you with a giggle, giggle boy? Are you with a giggle, giggle, giggle boy? That love is yeah. mine. Love really blind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super cool. So I thought I would unbox some of it for you guys. Half, well, main, I would say mainly it's PR, but I also had, I also finally shopped for myself, you guys, which is pretty good. I made it a month and a half, which is a lot longer than I thought I would. I was just trying to do it for the month of January, but here we go. Okay, the first one is from Tan Lux. So my favorite self tanner has been discontinued. It's from Modere and I'm like so sad about it. I think they're only bringing it back for like summer promo, so I have to stock up then. But I've never tried Tan Lux before, so they have a gradual tanner. Uh, it's a lotion, and then they have the super gloss, which, oh, oh my gosh, this is kind of scary looking. I don't know about this. I don't know, we'll test it out, I guess. But it's a, S oh, it's a SPF, interesting. Is that for the body or for the face? I don't know, that's scary. And then Tan Lux, the face bronzing drops. I feel like a lot of people use this and they like it. I need another one because I just finished my, uh, what are they called, like N12 or something? It's from Savon's line. I'm drawing a blank. I'm literally drawing a blank. I don't know what it's called, but I liked that for sure. And I'm almost down to try new stuff. So thank you Tan Lux. The laundress. Oh my gosh, I love laundress. When we first bought our house, their laundry detergent was like one of the first things that I purchased from the container store. We cycle through, we'll do like Costco brand, but if I'm in the mood, I will do use my laundress, which is like usually more than not. Um, Cause it just smells so good and it's so luxe and I just love it. So they sent over their darks and whites detergent. I didn't even know they had them. I use the classic and then we also have a scent free one for uh, Ace's stuff, but I'm gonna try these. So, got these. Oh, and then a little laundry measuring cup. Next one is from Good American. I missed their grand opening event at Fashion Island. I think it was two weeks ago, so I was kind of bummed out, but they were like, don't worry, we're gonna send you something. Woo! 
I only ever owned one thing from Good American. I got it. I got these pants at uh, Nordstrom Rack, and they were actually really, really good quality, and I loved. I wore the crap out of them. So this is what's this? Oh, I think this is like a little Valentine's thing. How cute! Oh, oh my gosh! This color is everything. cute you guys and they're like wide-legged oh my god i'm so excited to try this this is gonna be so cute i got a small in the top is that like big enough you guys know me i like my baggy but maybe maybe it's a it's a new era for me maybe we're gonna go not as baggy and slightly big. so cute oh i love it it's a really cute bag too Look at this bag. I like want to keep it. I'm looking to keep it. This is a really good box. When brands give boxes like this, I'm like, it's such a nice box and I, I I have such a hard time throwing them out. Maybe I'll use it for like Ace's storage for his clothes he's outgrown or something. Then I don't have to spend money on storage bin. Too. Okay, next we have local weather. Oh, local weather. I think these are energy drinks. Sorry, also, you can, Ace is doing tummy time and he doesn't like tummy time. These are mind and body sports drinks, Tyler. Mind and body sports. Yeah. They are, is he on his stomach? Can you, can, you, can you take him off? We have fruit punch, mango passion fruit, and orange. These have electrolytes, ashwagandha, L-theanine, L-tyrosine, I don't know what L-tyrosine is, um, a bunch of vitamins, and are caffeine-free, oh, that's good, gluten-free and vegan. The next one is from Jones Road Beauty. Um, I bought stuff from them, I think, over the summer, and I really, really liked their blush. I don't, I didn't try their bronzer yet. Hi, buddy. <laughs> You're a fussy boy today. Hippie stick, everywhere bomb. Is this like a hairball? I'm gonna have to. Ooh, it smells good. I'm gonna have to go on the website and figure out what that is. And then we got a little lipstick. Oh, it's chapstick. I actually need some right now. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Mm -mm. Okay. And we have some little lip liners. And a sharpener, perfect, because I always lose my freaking sharpeners. And then, oh, bummer, I can't have AG1 right now because AG1 is not pregnancy uh, approved. I mean, not pregnancy, well, pregnancy approved. It's not pregnancy approved, is that the word? You guys, mom brain is insane. Um, but I can't, pregnancy safe, there you go. It's not breastfeeding safe either, so it's okay, Tyler can take it. And then we have a multivitamin serum. What is this? It's for the face. Nice. Okay. Well, I just posted my skincare routine that I love and I'm obsessed with right now. So I might hold off on trying this. I like to kind of stick with a routine for a few months before I like reintroduce something else. So okay. And then we have a little box from Dibs Beauty. I love Dibs Beauty. I use their blush, their contour sticks, um, uh, their lip liners are my absolute favorite. It's because you don't need a sharpener with it. Like you just twist it and it comes out, which is the best. Um, so let's see what they have. New status sticks, I think. Oh, cute. So status sticks is what I use for the blush. So one end is a bronzer or a contour and the other side is blush. So they have these, ooh, they're just like darker colors. Can you see? Darker colors. This might be really pretty, actually. I've been into darker blushes right now for like winter time. It's the contour slash bronzer. Let's see the other ones. And it looks like the blushes are sparkly. Here's, oh, this is really pretty. I love these. I'm gonna try these for sure. I love them because they're just like really light 
And you guys know me, like that is my vibe for makeup these days. I don't, I'm not into the whole heavy thing. I think also too, because like Ace is always getting smashed in my face and like grabbing my face. I just don't need my makeup all over his clothes, all over my clothes, all over his face, his fingers, and then he's eating them. It's just a lot for me. So yeah, that's kind of just in the vibe, but I also like it because it's so low maintenance. Um, and low maintenance is the life for me right now. And then next we have stuff from Chico. So Tyler, Ace is starting to now hold bottles. So this actually will be really helpful. He sent over two little bottles and then a little pacifier thing. He's not really picky with pacifiers, so that's kind of been good. We can introduce different nipples and see what stays in his mouth and what he likes. They also sent over this thing, which is gonna be useful, because we were gonna get one anyways. It is one of those fast lock hook on chairs. So you just like hook it onto your kitchen counter or like a table and then they can just sit with you. We also have a high chair from Lalo that I'm excited to use, but this will be a good option to have as well. Okay, the next two things are absolutely amazing. So I already tried to put this on, so the hood part is missing, but we're going to New York next week and it's gonna be cold, but we figured carrying him around New York is gonna be way easier than the stroller because it's subway, transportation, whatever. So we got this cover. So this, like when the baby, when you're wearing the baby in front, this goes under and then these hook up around the straps and it keeps them warm. And there also comes a hood too, so you can put on the hood or you can just attach it, whatever. But I thought this was the smartest thing ever and it's so compact, it literally folds up into like this tiny little thing. So excited to use that. And then if you guys missed it, I did a baby carrier review and I posted it to my TikTok because it was really long, like five minutes, but I swear it's a good review. It is in depth. She is chef's kiss. We put a lot of effort into it, you guys. But I was saying how we have the Baby Bjorn Harmony for Tyler in green. And I was like, I kind of want the light one because I, the green is like a little manly-ish. Um, and I just wanted a more girlier one. I love my bump suit carrier because it is girly and cute, but it's like not my favorite to wear. So they saw the video and they sent over the Harmony in the beige, which I thought was so sweet. Oh my god, I am so happy. Now my settings on my carrier don't have to change because me and Tyler always were we were sharing it, but not anymore. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so cute. This is hands down our favorite carrier that we've used, owned, all of the above. Yay! Love baby beyond. Okay. The next two, okay, so this, these two I bought for New York because I have no fluffy hats and it's gonna be so cold. Also, these are just like cute and a vibe right now. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna keep. This one is Goldberg and this one is, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. A Paris, a Paris, a per, a per, I don't know. But, and they are kind of pricey, but I tried to go the Amazon route um, and they were all just like so cheap looking and thin and like not the vibe. So, don't judge my hair right now. She's nasty. Okay. We're gonna see. I have a couple outfits in mind that I'm gonna use this with, but they're like, they're cute. They're extra, but I feel like since it's New York, like, just go with it. Right? I don't look Russian. Cute. Okay, this is option number one. I feel like this is more like street vibe and not so much like prim proper and like you know tailored this one is more of a the prim proper tailor vibe because it's like cuter and it's cleaner i don't know what do you guys think it's cute i don't know we'll see i'll probably bring both and whichever one that i don't wear in new york i'm going to return their vibe though or I might keep both because these, like these hats and all my winter hats that I usually buy and wear, I wear for years, like years. So, all right, so those are the two that I bought. And then for gifting from Revolve, I picked out 
a pair of dark. So I don't have any dark denim that fit me right now that are like, I have dark hair denim, but I wanted just like straight up dark denim with no fade, no holes, nothing. This is a 24, can this fit me right now? Oh, it can. Also hack, I learned this in high school. If you, if you don't wanna try on a pair of jeans but wanna know if they're gonna fit you or not, at least in the waist part, just take this, you wrap it around your neck, and if it fits, it fits your waist. I don't know how, but I swear it works. I've literally been doing it for 20 years, 15 years, I don't know. Okay, here are the jeans. Okay, Ace is hungry, BRB, I'm gonna make a bottle. All right, we're back. Okay, and then the second thing I got from Revolve was this brown leather jacket. It is so pretty, it's from Girlfriend. I don't have a brown leather jacket like this. I have my Lioness one, but it's not leather. It's actually quite thin, um, and I wear the crap out of it, but I need something heavier for these months because when I wear that right now, I'm freezing still. So this is nice and heavy. I feel like this with these jeans would be so cute with like a black heel booty. It's just like a very sleek, sleek look. You know what I mean? With like the hair, with my short hair like flipped out and like black um, oval sunglasses. Oh my God, it's so cute. I can actually cannot wait to sell this now. And maybe my red polo hat that I have from Revolve too, like the little red baseball hat, that actually might be a vibe. So. Maybe I will shoot this soon, or maybe I'll bring it with me to New York. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And I think Tyler and I are also gonna do a New York packing vlog as well to show you guys everything we're packing because packing for New York during the winter is just a different beast. Is that the word? The ball, ball game? I don't know. Mom brain. I haven't gotten any sleep because of Ace's sleep regression, you guys. Oh my God, so. Last but not least, obviously, I mean, this is nothing exciting. I mean, we just buy their diapers, but I need to, I need you guys to know how good coterie diapers are. I know they are pricey, but for us, it's so worth it. I have a code. I'm not sponsored by them, but they gave me a code. Um, and I, yes, I literally shamelessly use my own code to buy diapers. And then I make like my mom and Tyler's mom and Tyler use my code to buy us diapers too. Um, but Okay. We have used Huggies, Pampers, Honest, Freestyle, and Coterie, and I, did we try Millie Moon? I forget, but hands down out of all of them, this is still the best, the best diaper. Number one, it's really easy to put on. <laughs> there they are, there's, there's a Coterie booty. They're so easy to put on, they absorb like crazy, with all the other diapers, we had blowouts or we're constantly changing them like every hour or two hours. With Coterie, he can go three, four, five hours and at nighttime, we never have to change and we never have leaks. So they're just really, really good. I know the ingredients in them, it's like non-toxic, it's a good diaper. And Ace has never had any rashes or any irritation except one time. So. Freestyle, yes, Freestyle sent us a bunch of size two diapers and we ran out of Coterie and we're like, you know what, let's just like try them out and use them. And I didn't, I just don't like wasting diapers. So we used them for I think a month and I'm not even joking, his like pee pee skin was red for like almost the entire time that we used them. Um, not the first week, but probably like his skin was getting used to it. I don't know if it irritated him, but we noticed that and we're like, okay, is it like, are we not cleaning him or is it the diapers? Like we didn't know, but after we finished using the freestyle and we went back to the Coterie, cause now he's a size three, um, the redness around his PP like went away. So I'm like, okay, it definitely has to be the ingredients or like the chemicals that are in the diapers, which is, you guys already know me. I'm a big, I'm really, really big on ingredients and all that stuff. So yes, Coterie is the one for me. I think my, I will type out my code. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. It's, I think it's like just throw it on 20 for 20% 20 off. And um, it's good for if you don't do the subscription. So when you are at checkout, um, unclick the subscription tab and then 
I think it's like a hundred bucks and then you get 20% off. So it's like $80 for an entire month's supply. So there is how many diapers are, there's 28 diapers in each pack and it comes with six different packs. So you use that code for that. Oh my goodness. You can use the code for their wipes, whatever you want to do. The wipes are absolutely amazing too. They're like nice, thick towels. It's not like little wimpy tissue papers that all, a lot of the other brands use. And they're so absorbent and they clean really, really, really well. Hey, I think that's it. Are you standing? Oh, hi. Hello. Want to show everyone? Ooh, are you dancing? Are you putting forth your tippy toes like a, like a ballerina dancer? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show, show, show. Yeah. Show, show. All right, guys. Well, I told, well, I told them that we would do a packing vlog for New York because I feel like that would, that would be fun York. to like show everyone the fits that we're going to bring. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So that'll be our next vlog. And then I'll be healthier next vlog. <laughs> yes. And we're going to New York. So we will all also vlog New York. And I also told them that you're going to spearhead the New York vlog since I did this one. Sound good? And it's your trip anyway. So. Yep. Sounds mm. good. Hey. Love you guys. Okay, love you guys. Bye.